Hey everyone. Um, so, uh, today uh, was reset, a uh, weekly reset, and everything just reset. Uh, it is currently 9.14 for me, which is 14 minutes off of, uh, you know, daily reset time. Um, so I'm bringing this uh, to you right away. Um, today we're going to be doing this right here, which is uh, the weekly tower. Nothing too special. I've actually done videos on it before. Um, but the reason we're going to be doing it live here today is because, uh, as you saw in the last video, um, this final section right here for your new missions, uh, these pertain uh, exclusively to the tower. So um, these are especially basically made for the tower. Um, the missions here go as um, complete stage 1, complete stage 2, I think all the way up through 10, and that is basically this entire section. So I'm currently working on completing um, these missions and just uh, doing the summoning video for you guys. Uh, currently I have this one done, and I'm going to have, I think, yeah, this one done in a couple of minutes after I finish this video. And then these uh, two, or the rest I'm going to be working on. <clears throat> You know, it's like time flows by and stuff, so um, hopefully I'll bring those to you guys like really quick. Um, I think they're pretty simple, it's just a lot of like stuff that I have to do like with waiting for stamina and stuff like that, so not a big deal, but um, it'll take some time. Um, so we'll just go ahead and hop in real quick. Um, shouldn't be too hard, uh, hopefully this will take a long while. I'm, I'm more worried about how long it's going to take rather than how hard it's going to be because, you know, I do these every week, so it's not really that big of a deal. So I'm thinking about switching out RAM here for another AOE unit just so I could do these a lot faster. I'm thinking about running like a full AOE team. But of course I have to build them really good because I'm certain stages later on. I uh, actually have like a couple more stages added on to them so I wouldn't want to waste like multiple AOEs on like a against like two characters when you know the boss fight's coming up next. Um, so for now I guess I'll just put this. So um, I'm looking to build up uh, Amelia, obviously, because she's a solid base unit to work off of. And these are like the two characters I was talking about, where you have to like waste an AoE just for two characters and then go out into the boss fight. Um, but as I was saying, um, I'm, w I want to work on Amelia cause, mainly because she's AoE and she's basically with free gold because of them. That the fact that she's so old, well, obviously not basically free gold for me because you know I'm not. Um, that old of a player, but if you've basically been playing since day one, it should be like a free unit, basically. I've been saying basically a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, also the fact that she was like on the, the main banners for a while, um, you know, you get the PvP coins, um, I don't know, she just like, all the, all the, the old units just like scream like, um, Rainbow me right now or uh, gold star me um, That's kind of how all the games are like after a while like year one units just become basically like free units um, I wouldn't be surprised if you see more ways of like uh, getting them to gold stars um, Rather than just like the, the dungeons and the PvP coins and stuff like that And also the fact that um a lot of older units are actually a lot cheaper um, technically speaking in the gold gold coin store because a lot of the newer units only give you five fragments uh, per, I think, what is it, 20 gold coins. Uh, but a lot of the older units uh, actually give you 10 fragments per 20 coins, so mathematically cheaper. Um, so just uh, units like those that I'm looking forward to building. <laughs> Crazy how um, all of a sudden we're just doing like no damage. <laughs> That's, that's, I've had a lot of issues about that with this game where basically it's like no challenge at all until you get to this one stage and then all of a sudden it's like the hardest game in the world and it's very weird. Um, I don't like, I don't mind challenges, it's just the fact that some of the ramp up uh, you know, stages in this game just go from 0 to 100 and it's, it's pretty weird especially for newer players. If you're end game then you're kind of like waiting on it, but if you're a newer player you're kind of dreading it because you know that just stops your progress in its place, uh, so it's kind of unfortunate. Also, I am built, uh, saving up a gem pile here, because uh, I, I can't wait for like the next big unit that I want to summon on. Um, I'm kind of sad that the Sword Saint banner was um, only here for, what was it, like a couple weeks or so? It was very short-lived. Um, a 
couple more, like one more sword saint, and I would have had her gold already, which is really sad, but um, I have to wait until I do some more dailies or I do that ticket summon and get a bunch of more gold coins, then I should be able to max her out. She's very close. I think, I believe she's like 160 fragments out of 200, so it's not very far off. Uh, but I just need a little bit of those gold coins to push me over the edge. Um, so I'm waiting for the next big unit to drop. Uh, I absolutely love summoning in this game. I don't know what it is, but I I enjoy summoning like so much in this game. Um, I didn't realize that Mila was gone. I wish this game would allow you to set teams. There's a lot of content in this game that is different from one another, and the fact that you have to build separate teams for that separate content um, is really rough. Uh, what did I use last time? I guess I'll use you. Uh, so yeah, like this, this will have its own content. You know, dungeons each will have their own teams. You know, the, the separate colored dungeons will have their own teams. Every fragment uh, dungeon has their own teams. It's very weird. I wish there was just set teams, and um, maybe content that needs specific units can have like its own separate like team slot. Uh, like how like how it is now, where every piece of content has its own team. Maybe those pieces of content stay the same, but for every other piece of content, unless you use whatever team, I would like to see just like set teams that you can put in, or like saved teams. Maybe like um, there's a button on the top right or something at the when you're setting up your team, and you can just click that button and you it'll show you like a list of pages of teams, um, that you've built, pre-built, and then it'll show like uh, the blacked out ones, like if um. I guess never mind. I was gonna say it'll show blacked out versions of those teams if uh, like you're doing a piece of content that requires a certain character. But then again, like I said, that that piece of content could just have like a completely separate team, like how it is now. Um, so there would be a need for that. But yeah, so like you just click a button, like it shows you all the teams that you've built. Like you have like let's say like five slots or something like that, sort of like what we have now. But it's just like constantly changing, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. I seen they they're doing a lot of quality of life improvements, and I saw there's like a team building improvement. Uh, I'm not sure what it was about. Like it looked like maybe just like to show off your teams in your profile, or it actually is like more team slots or like different team organizations. I don't know if that is, but um, I did cover it in the like the, the tweet that they sent. Um, like a couple of videos ago, or like all the, the the live stream news, I was covering it in tweets basically. Cause, um, I was too lazy to go through the live stream, and they had tweeted out all the news already. So, so yeah. Right now, I'm just oops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm kind of just buying time as I complete this, <laughs> so we can uh, show the progress in the 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 missions tab. Oop, double attack. Gotta love Elsa. I think Sword Saint just kind of like outclasses Elsa and just like outdates her. But Elsa's really fun just for like her uniqueness in her kit, like the the double attacking, um, the the cr like the nice crit chance honestly, and um, the healing. Uh, each I think it's per hit. It's not. And then Sword Saint's is like healing per kill, so that's really interesting. I really like Elsa for that. Uh, but yeah, I think Sword Saint's just a little bit better and kind of just does everything better. Um, but Elsa is still really fun to use, especially if you have her gold like me. Um, so she's definitely still has her place. Um, oop, just put that there. Like not even this entire uh, tower has like its own team. Each stage has just has its own team. So if you notice, I've been changing my team like every stage. Uh, that's kind of what I mean by like it just being easier. So. Uh, don't mind me, just going on a little rant for no reason. Um, let's do that. Defense lower is like kind of nutty. I probably should have defense lower with that. Oh, well. Sword Sting's got it. That's what I, she's so great. I love her. I can't wait until I get her gold. Elsa's pretty good too. But even in gold and really built up, like my hammers on her are like really solid. Uh, Sword Saint just does way more damage. It's kind of insane. <laughs> Two more stages. Let's go you again. Where 
is it at? Oh, here you go. Yeah, I, I switch these every now and then. I don't know why. I really wish I had gotten more of those memories for the sword scent because I think it just looks really cool in general. Um, I don't know how it compares to the Elsa one when, when it's gold and it gives you that second passive effect, but um, I just like it because it looks really pretty. Um, yeah, I'll just the super attack him just to make sure. Then we'll defense down Priscilla. Ooh, so close. This should kill, maybe? Nope. Not even close. Attack again. Oh. We're being too greedy. Nice. I really want this Krush. I think she can be an interesting and fun unit to play around with. I've seen a lot of people use her. She hits like insanely hard if you build her the right way. I think she could be fun. And I remember reviewing her banner with um the original Tradicia, and um she looked like a, like a little mini Elsa, and I really like that. I really like her kit. So if I ever pick her up, I'm gonna be pretty excited. Also, her art looks, just looks fantastic. I absolutely adore her art. This game has definitely made me appreciate some characters that I otherwise wouldn't have just exclusively from the anime. Mm, I'll kill you, I guess. And then we'll go for Felix next. I like how he just backs out, like he doesn't actually die, he just leaves. I think this is the last one, I can't remember. Pretty sure. Oh, they're not freeze. Oops, I probably should have the Amelia. She's about to wreck my team. Oh no. She's wait. Oh, I thought she was uh she was taunted, but it was my Amelia. Damn, she's not crit oh I think her buffs are gone. I'm surprised um, Amelia didn't proc any of her freezes because of the, the RAM boost. Oh well. Okay, that's full stat. All 10 uh, stages clear, so I should have all of the missions. Yep. So we'll just scroll this way. All 11 done. Uh, there's actually 10 missions, and then like the 11th is just basically the ticket. So you, it says you have 11 rewards. Um, so there's that one. Uh, two down so far um and i need four more they're all relatively close to especially this one um basically three down um and then you have this little progress bar that gets i would guess up to six or maybe it stops at like six right here and then like we find out there's more missions coming soon but i doubt it i'm pretty sure it just leads to six and then we'll just collect some stuff i just want to see what i got i don't know what these are for it might be you know, like an event going on or something and then currently we're sitting at like 20 tickets. Yeah, 20 tickets. And then um, we're gonna get 40 more, and that's gonna be 60 summons, and that's gonna be neat. What? Well, I don't know why I came back here. All right, so that's gonna do it for the video. Again, um, this tower you should be doing like every week, either way. So this, these are just basically free hammers, free tickets, um, free completion. So I, I think it's really cool that they added it in, um, even if it's gonna be like a one-time. Uh, thing you know because it's you know it's a weak thing so uh, I think it's still pretty cool that they did it I think the rewards are really good um you go from gold to SP hammer especially the SP hammers dude this is so good I can't believe they did this this is so good I'm so happy um and then the tickets obviously are really cool and um yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video whatever that's gonna be and then I'll try to get this uh so many video uh for you as quick as possible where I finish basically all the uh, tickets here and then summon using them um, So that's gonna be fun. Hopefully I pull some good stuff um, Hopefully no new units go into those banners because I am not gonna wait. Uh, I am too impatient
So hopefully uh, I don't miss out on anything cool. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I said on, on the last video, but um, in the comments, but if you have any questions on like these missions or anything, you could comment down below or you can go to the Discord and ask, ask them for help. Uh, they have a lot of good people over there. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for the video. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching.